Not one. Not two. But three. Mailbag. Yes. Model Making Guru is sponsored by emodels.co.uk. Make something awesome. Hey everyone, it's Fox from ModelMaking.Guru here. Hello, hello, and welcome to another Mystery Package Times. Special one this one, because we've got a Secret Santa. Yes, Secret Santa package. So I'm gonna open all these today, get it all done in one show. Now, these two are together, they're an item. We wanna be together. These two are from Scott in Orkney. Our very very good friend Scott you've seen him send me stuff before uh, so there is one thing I'm hoping that's in this box I don't know what's in here other than one thing I'm hoping is in there so I've got these two from Scott and this of course like I said is my secret Santa so we're going to go through Scott's stuff first and then we'll crack on with the secret Santa Whoa! I'll move the camera so we can get a better look at these as you can see Guthorm's quite keen to get in. he knows these are from all he smells Orkney on these packages <laughs> Yes, come on, Guthorn, you, you come over here. You sit over there out of harm's way, because I'm going to have a sharp knife now. I don't want to get you stabitated. That's my job to get stabbed. So you sit there and watch. Yes, this is from my very good friend Scott in Orkney. Uh, he sent me some treats. I'm going to make a guess. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to guess. I'm going to make a guess at some Orcadian goodness. Uh, now he sent me this box and then sent me a second package he sent me a message saying crap i forgot to include some stuff so i'm sending you a second package they should both arrive at the same time and i said well if yours is the one with the christmas card on the front then one's already arrived he was like, wow he only sent this on saturday and it arrived on monday it's amazing it's amazing i had a package come from stoke that took five days first class royal mail five days and this first class from orkney you know stoke's 30 miles away first class from orkney took like a day and a half and one of those days was Sunday so pretty impressive so let's get these open of course we do need the opening knife of poik and stabity occasionally ready I shall ready myself three two one poik. Oh, fudge. three two so it's, this is only about two months old I've hardly used it and it's already given me the jib three two one poik. oh three two one, boink, oh, three, two, one, boink. there we go, there we go. Not quite as mouthy as the old one, but it's getting there. So what we shall do first, we'll do the box first. Now this will be quite a long video today, as you probably guessed, because it's one of mine. Let's just leave it at that. Uh, it will be quite a long video because the other box is uh, my secret Santa gift. Now if you don't know what that is, it's a thing from the boom hut, and I'll put links up and talk about it later on, but... Uh, it is a, a Boom Hut Secret Santa box, so I've got a lot to go through today. So this might be a bit longer than your usual regular mailbag videos. Let's have a look. So I'll just make sure there's none of, yes, none of his address exposed. So we've got what I'm going to assume is a Christmas card. I'm going to open this off camera just in case, first of all. I'll just check if there's a fiver in there. Is there a, no, no fiver. No, I do, I am amazed, you know how my postman seems to be able to deliver things even with like, all the addresses covered up it's amazing how many people send me packages and things with with blue tape over the address and my postman still gets them to me oh yeah this is how i know it's from scott there we go there we go let's have a look uh he says happy happy late early christmas fox hope you enjoy some treats scott thank you very much scott there that will go on the uh, christmas card pile because we've got a load of Christmas cards on my mantelpiece, even this early in the year. So Scott, thank you for that card. Let's get into the serious business now of Detreaten Gefarten. Mid the eating, one's the happiness. Yeah, that's a mistake. Right, let's take there. Get that there, cut that with the happy knife of opening. I shall put this to the side and we'll open it so I can bring the items one by one for you to look at with. Oh, I've seen things. First of all, most important things. Oh, right, hang on. 
Ready? It's got to be done, got to be done, ready? Stab, 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 stab. Yes, has to be done. You have to explode the bags with maximum stability. Now, let's have a look and see what we've got. We have... Okay, well, first... Oh, my teeth are going to kill me. Oh, it's the only fudge. It's the only fudge. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Scott, what are you doing to me? Oh, there we go. Oh. Wow. Calm. Oakney tablet, I should say, not Oakney fudge. Mm. Now, I should have planned this better because when you're eating lovely, lovely, lovely fudge like this, oh, I love fudge. When you're eating lovely, lovely fudge, you need a hot beverage, tea or coffee, to get the fudge off your teeth. Otherwise, within half an hour, there's so much sugar in fudge, your teeth will be screaming. All I've got is a glass of water. It'll have to do. Wow. So if you're like me, wolfing down a ton of fudge in one go, do go and brush your teeth afterwards. Mm. Now I'll just get the gallon of water out of my moustache. There we go. Oh, yes, Orkney tablet. Thank you very much, Scott. You know I like a bit of Orkney tablet. As does Mama Fox. And do keep in mind, I have certain rules. When I get food in a, in a, in a parcel, I have to eat it there and then, or at least try it there and then, if it doesn't require cooking, and it's not something I'm going to be chewing on for 45 minutes. But of course, my other rule is, I share this with Mama Fox. And Mama Fox also has a bit of a thing for Orkney fudge and Orkney tablet. I assume Orkney tablet is just Orkney fudge. I've never actually checked. I'm assuming it is, it just tastes like fudge. It's from orkneyfudge.co.uk, your one-stop shop for all your Arcadian fudge needs. That's orkneyfudge dot co dot uk i accept checks cashiers postal orders and cold hard cash uh the orkney let's have a look i can't i've got the wrong hang on let me put my proper small reading glasses on so i can read small things i don't mean the glasses are small i mean the things i'm reading are small it says the orkney heather tartan featured on this packaging is used by kind permission of Aurora Jewelry. Jewelry? A jewel I can't say jewelry in a Scottish accent or an Orcadian accent. I can't actually do an Orcadian accent. Kind permission of Aurora Jewelry. I can't say that word. I can't say it in anything but my normal accent. Jewelry. Jewelry. www.aurora. something. It's folded. Oh, I can't give a free plug. Oh, Aurora. Jewelry. Aurora Dash Jewelry. I can't read it. Sorry, Aurora Jewelry. Oh, one more piece. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Scott, I love you. You're awesome. Mm. It almost matter, doesn't matter what else is in the box now. Because I'm fudge. Fudge! Right, what else we got? Okay, we have two mysterious things. Now, this is very heavy. And this is kind of crinkly. Now, I know uh, Scott did send some stuff to um, Chris over at Gross Models. But luckily, I've actually completely forgotten what he was sent. So I can't remember what these might be. Uh, so let's get these open. We'll go, for, we'll go for this rattly one first of all. Now, it's got some delightful, delight, I'm not on camera, delightful uh, Orkney Puffin paper or pd pd means small and it says pd puffin pd means small or little if i remember correctly in my orcadian slang so it's a wee pd puffin or as they would say a wee, wee pd taminori although they wouldn't sound like they came from glasgow i guess That's, yeah I, I do apologize if i try and do a scottish accent it just comes out like kind of glaswegian so and I know Orkney in Scotland, it's not. I know there's the on. I know you just have to accept the fact that my Orcadian accent is basically just a Scots accent, and it's as good as it gets. It's a smiling. I'm just being really slow here, aren't I? Let's just rip it. What have we got? Uh, okay, we have. Oh, 
Scapa, the Orcadian Hume's handmade Scottish tablet, made in Orkney to a family recipe. Buttery sweet and with a glug of Scapa Glancha whiskey. <gasps> it's alcohol and it's food. Oh, Hume's Quality Artisan Foods, Orkney. www.humes Orkney. That's H U M E S Orkney. dot co. dot uk. <gasps> oh. Can't smell through the plastic. Damn. Wait, I'm going to have to open it. It says Humes. Oh, it's an address. I was going to thought it was an interesting fact. <gasps> I've already just got a whiff. Hang on. Oh. Oh, that smell. Oh. I can't explain the smell to you. It's like... It doesn't just smell like whiskey. It doesn't just smell like, you know, booze. It's not like, you know, rum and raisin type stuff. It smells like... If you were to take... A wholemeal hovis loaf, soak it in proper, nice, deep, dark, fine ale, and then leave it for a bit. Oh, that smells delicious. I'm going to have to go in. So this is, what was it again? Uh, Glancer whiskey. Hang on, ready? Mmm. <gasps> mmm. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Oh, stop me. Mm. Oh, the flavour. Oh, the flavour. Oh, I know I'm worried. I need to get off my teeth, but oh. I have very sensitive teeth and I can't leave like sugary stuff on there for more than a few minutes. <gasps> oh, the flavour. Oh, oh my life. That is like that. It's like, it's like this with, well, I'm, it's with whiskey in it, but it doesn't taste like, if you just made fudge and poured a load of whiskey in it, it doesn't taste like that. It tastes, it's a really complicated, I can't explain it. Just get you some from humesorkney.co.uk. Just go and get some, go and get some now. I'll pause the video. If you like fudge, if you like whiskey, if you just like alcohol, if you just like food, just oh, go and get some. Mama Fox is really going to like that. It's a very subtle flavour. Like I say, if you're often, if you're used to things like rum and raisin and things with whiskey in it, where it just tastes sickly and, and over the top, that's not. It's really subtle. It's really, really subtle. Mm. Right, more peedy puffin pepper. Peedy tammy nori. Oh, what's this? Oh, 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 Orkney beer chutney. If you have skies like that in Orkney with that colour, you're near a nuclear power station or something. That's really weird. Orkney Isles. I've got fudge in my teeth. Hang on. I'm still mouth watering. Orkney Isles Preserves. Uh, it's in Shappinsay in Orkney. Oh, it says, made on Shapinsay using renewable energy. Ingredients, apples, onions, sultanas, Scapa special beer. I'm getting a lot of this Scapa alcohol. Contains barley and wheat. Cider vinegar contains sulphite. I like a nice bit of sulphite in my food. Uh, sugar, salt and spices. Oh, mm, I'm going to have to try it. I've not got a spoon. Oh, I just, oh, right. Ready? Oh, it made a noise. It went... Th I love a nice chutney. I love anything, but as long as it's not got eyes or a face, I'll eat. I love it. Oh, oh, smell that. Sm just go, smell it. Smell it now. Go. Deep breath. Oh, oh, it's a lovely, oh. it's a lovely savoury yet sweet. I'm gonna have to use something. What have I got? I've got, I've got the arse end of me tweezers. That'll do as a spoon, I think. Have I got anything else? No, I haven't got a spoon. Oh, I haven't got any spoons. Right, that'll do. They're clean. They're near enough. It, if they're not clean, it's just my hand jam. I can eat my own hand jam. Right. Oh, let's try this. Are we ready? Going in. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is nice. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. 
Oh, that is delicious. Oh, that's a oh, it's nice. It's like if you had chutneys before, they often have a bit of a spicy kick to them. It's not quite got the spicy kick, but it's got real complex flavour. It's the sweetness of the apples and the uh, sultanas combined with the spice and the spike of the onions, but they temper the spike of the onions. So it's like onions, but not kick you in the face onions. It just gives it a real nice, slightly familiar flavour, but I can't quite place it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, that's going to be... Oh. Dude, that's awesome. Thank you. That's going to go on a lot of things. Now, I'm trusting I'm trusting Guthorm over here with these treats. I know you want the, pud the fudge. Guthorm, just... You'll have some fudge. When I say I'm going to share it with Mama Fox, I of course mean and Guthorm, because he just gets grumpy if I don't share the fudge with him. Now, there is something else in here. But we'll look at that in a minute because we'll go to the next package first so i'll put that box there thank you for that box scott that box will come in right handy i do recycle boxes if i've ever sent you anything you'll recognize the packaging boxes from videos so now we have the second package which i think i can just go ahead and open let's see what's in the good doctor's bag oh 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 Oh, you're giving me backing nuts, you swine that you are. I know, I'm doing Glasgow again, I'm sorry. Right, what have we got? We've got... <gasps> oh, I've got a plan. I'm getting a plan in my head. We've got some Stockens mini oat cakes. We've had these before. I think you've sent me some Stockens stuff. Maybe not these. You have sent me some Stockens stuff before. And it's really nice. I do like oat cakes. So I'm going to do something in a minute with those two. We have some... <laughs> <laughs> Battenbird. <laughs> Battenbird. I like it. I'm liking that. I was having a conversation in the boom, I think, the other day, a joking conversation about why Battenberg cake is rubbish and middle class and compared to proper grown up cakes like coffee cake. Uh, but yeah, I do really like Battenberg cake in reality. Battenbird. <laughs> I'm liking that. Thank you. What else have we got in here? I'm trying not to get all the packing nuts out. I think that's everything that was in there, I think. I'm going to have to... Oh, I'm going to have to get the packing nuts out now to make sure there's nothing small. Scott, what are you doing to me, man? Oh, I think that's everything. Yes, that is everything. Packing nuts going back in the envelope. Yeah. Makes for exciting viewing. Hang on. Oh. Although, can you stick these together? Nah, you can't even stick them together. <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Packing nuts undeployed right very quickly very very quickly it's got to be done oh, crumbs already crumbs dm all right this is going to explode crumbs everywhere so i'll have to have a bit of a tidy up uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to have of course i have to go for the end with the most crumbly cook uh, oat cake oh, you know? where's me where's me with my special tool let me show you my special... Oh, hang on. Let me get one that's slightly less exploded. I'm trying to minimise crumbs on my workbench, but it's a Pyrrhic thing, because I'm just going to get crumbs on my workbench. Let's put that on there. You go back in there. Oh! Oh! Fudge. Literally. Right, so I'll get some of that. I'm going to use my special... No, I know what I'll do. I know what I'll do. I've got that that I've not used yet. No, I said no, I'll just I'll keep using this. Screw it, I'll just keep using this. Are we ready? Oat okay, cake combined with this. Oh, oh hang on. Oh. 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 Mm. One second. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Right. Are we ready? Smell that, smell it, smell it, smell it, smell it! Ready? Three, two, one. Oh wow, hang on, I've got no moisture left in my body. Oh, 
Those oat cakes took me by surprise. It says oat cakes cheese. Oh, with the crumbs. And they tasted different. Because the last time I had oat cakes, they were kind of a sweet flavour. These are more savoury. Oh. It says, the Orkney Island, and that's Glasgow again, sorry. The Orkney Islands, home to the puffin, or Daminori as it's affectionately known, are also home to the bakery where our delicious stockings oat cakes are made. Many oat cakes are perfect for snacking, children's lunch boxes, and canapes. Canapes? That's a bit posh. That's a bit posh, isn't it? Canips. Visit www.stockhands.com for more recipes. Oh, canapes. Ooh. Oh, that's delicious. They took me by surprise, them, Scott, because I was expecting the sweet ones. And they're really nice. Mm. Right. So let me clear this mess away. We've got one thing, last thing to look at. I'm just making some of your twitch now. I'm doing that with the blade. Let me clear these crumbs away. And we'll look at the last bit. Back in a sec. And of course it wouldn't be a care package from Scott or one of these unboxing videos where he sent me something without a quick look at the local flavour and local colour in the Orcadian. He always sends me a full copy of the Orcadian, this one from December the 5th, 2019. Now if you remember, the last few times we've done this, there has been a crisis in Orkney. There has been an ongoing grass cutting crisis. <gasps> so hopefully in here we will we will be updated on the, on the on the grass crisis. We demand to know the update. There might not be. It might, might, nothing have happened. So yes, let's have a look and see what we've got. Orcadian. Uh, NHS, Councillor's Upgrades, Cathedral. Try and find some local colour. Uh, Orkney Dentist, team up with a Scottish firm. Dealing with foreigners, with foreigners I say. Uh, moves to avoid making our homework. Marking our homework. Ooh, what's this? Unique pair of bars on display. Now, if I'm pronouncing this wrong, if it's bar or bore, I'm not sure. I'll probably get it wrong, so I do apologise. It says here, The only two bars ever to be won by a husband and wife have gone on display in a bar in Kirkwall this week. There were only ever two women's bar games played on Christmas Day 1945 and New Year's Day in 1946. The Christmas ball which is on display in the Ogden Museum was won by Uppy Barbara Yule and the other was won by Violet Cooper who went on to marry Bert Grieve at Dooney who himself won a men's bar at New Year 1968. Now I can't remember the specifics of the ball but it's two groups, Uppies and Dooneys, who basically beat the living crap out of each other to get a ball from one part of the island to the other or something like that or one part of the town and it's all violent and people get killed and explode and legs come off and things but it's kind of a traditional Orkney thing uh, and it's quite a touching little story. The husband and wife's bars are unique in the history of the game and have been loaned to Alec Fidletter and Tracy Groves of the standing room gin bar. Ted! Ted! There's a gin bar! Slap it on! You have to go, you have to go. In Shaw Street uh, where they are now on display. Uh, Mr Fidletter, a staunch supporter of the bar and the Dooney New Year's Day men's bar winner of 2006 and boys bar winner of Christmas 1981, said he was delighted that Mrs Grieve allowed them to display the bars, which are sure to generate a lot of interest over the festive period. Such local colour, you don't get that anywhere else. Man admits spitting on car. Wow. Crime wave. Admonished after good behaviour. A man has been admonished of charges against him after having been found to have been a good behaviour. No good deed goes unpunished, I always say. Bar season grows close. The bar committee has announced details of who will be throwing up the four bars this season. I really hope I'm pronouncing that right, or at least reasonably right. Uh, where the prize leather trophies will be put on display. The Christmas Day boys bar has been donated and will be thrown up by Graham Lutet. The bar made by Sigurd Gibson will be put on display in the Miri Dancers shop for Albert Street. And an advert for the magazine that commemorates the bar. Do you want to sell products and services to a large audience of committed, passionate sportsmen and their stalwart supporters? Then why not advertise in the upcoming commemorative bar magazine and wish all players and supporters well for the 2019-20 bar season? I, I, I'm probably talking absolute rubbish and I've got the wrong idea of what the bar is. Bar, bar, bar. Football. Maybe it's B. I don't know. I know it's not football. Mound Dwellers and Hogboons. Teapot Teasel. That's twice now I've had a mention of Japan 
in an Orcadian newspaper. I'm liking this. Uh, local colour, local colour. There's no pictures of people with giant checks. There's a picture with a certificate, but no giant checks. I'm most disappointed. Christmas bingo at St Magnus Centre in Kirkwall. Eyes down 7.30pm on the 7th of December. Oh, it's gone now. It's the 10th of December today. But block with beard and another block with beard. <coughs> I do apologise for burping, but that was the strangest flavour of last night's pasta with Irish stew and chicken curry and oniony chowder relish stuff and whiskey fudge. That was kind of delightful. Ooh, not very good burp, but it was kind of delightful. Excuse me for burping on telly. Ah, great big coo. Oh, great big coo. Fraser Leslie with his prize-winning limousine cross heifer named She's a Vegan. <laughs> Call it a cow. She's a vegan. I like that. Also pictured is Judge Alan Turnbull that nobody cares about because it's all about the cow. Pig. So great big pig. Happy birthday, Inga. Love from all the family. I'm going to guess that Inga's probably not like six or seven years old because that outfit suggests that's in the 70s or 60s. I'm going to guess that Inga is a bit older than that. But Inga, happy birthday, especially if you share the same birthday as me. Ah, wanted garage or large shed for short-term storage. Kirkwall area must be lockable. Wait, there's, there's no contact details. It just says, I need a garage. If I've got a garage, how do I... Did they not think that one through? How... Oh, is that it? Oh. Oh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here's one for Ted. Chivas Brothers are looking for a Deputy Visitor Centre Supervisor in the Scapa Distillery. Slap it on. Anyway, that's been more than long enough looking at the newspaper. So, Scott, I shall pass this to uh, Mama Fox, who will have a good old read of... The Orcadian from the 5th of December 2019. Uh, thank you very much. Right, so I shall go and get the other box ready. So Scott, first of all, Scott, thank you massively for all my noms and treats. Uh, I will begrudgingly pass these over so Mama Fox can share the happiness with the fudge, with the tablet. And I don't want to share that or that. I don't really want to share that either. Or let's just be honest. If I'm not sharing the chutney, I don't need to give her the cookies. I'll let her share the card and the paper. There you go. <laughs> now, I will share them with Mama Fox. So, Scott, jump cut there. Sorry. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you massively for these. They will be much enjoyed, especially the uh, the chutney. I do like a nice chutney. Thank you, thank you, mate. I really, really appreciate those. It's very, very kind of you. Uh, anyway, let's take a look at the next one now. What's the next one? The next one is my secret Santa. So, we'll get crack that one open and see what's in there back in a moment and so on to the next box which i say i think is my secret santa package i'm going to guess there's no great big goo in here it's i don't know let's have a look so i have to <sighs> yes yes you know who you are Oh, I'm just. Oh. What my postman think? I do not know what my postman thinks of me. You know all the stuff I get. With that would normally suggest to me this is from Chris, because it's always his fault. But I don't think this is from Chris. But yeah, yep, yeah. yes. I don't know. I don't know. Let's get it open. It's like a. It's like the kind of box sneakers come in. Maybe it's like a pair of sneakers or something. If you sent me a pair of Converse, I've got to tell you actually, because I'm getting old, my feet are a bit knackered nowadays, and I may have to actually soon give up wearing the Converse purely because my feet can't take it anymore. It needs some support. So I think I'm going to have to admit defeat and getting old, and at some point, get myself some actual proper footwear. Oh, we've got a Christmas. Okay, Christmas wrappings. We've got a double layered goodness going on here. Well, I say Christmas, it could just be like Norwegian with trees and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh. Let me just make sure there's anything in the packaging, out of packaging. No. The bin bag has a rather pleasant apple saucy smell. Yeah. Mm. Saying nothing. Saying nothing. Right, what have we got here? Let's have this look at this then. I'm going to have a quick look in the box just to see if there's a letter or anything. Hang on. Oh, there's. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, I may have just got a clue as to who's this come from. <laughs> right, let's get this open. We have... <laughs> oh, I know who sent me this now. <laughs> I mean, I know where the crisp. I know where this has come from. No, I don't know. Yes, I do know. This is. I'm guessing then from George, my very good friend George, because he uh, posted a picture up in the Boom Hut. I don't want to damage this now. Of this sketch, of this heretical dark. <laughs> Oh, I don't know where this started. I do know where this started, Chris. I do know where it started. This dark Jar Jar Binks sketch uh, was Mrs. George. And she complained that he'd got her into some kind of evil. Got involved in some kind of evil. <laughs> oh, there's a note on the back. Master Fox. Please enjoy this monstrous tank you have requested. May the resin god smile upon you this d Hello. What have I been sent here? Uh, but that's not the best part. Enjoy this specially drawn Jar Jar to hang on your fridge. <laughs> Why I <are> you order? <laughs> it is a beautifully, beautifully, beautifully drawn sketch. So awesome work to Mrs. George. He's a professional illustrator. Yes. I don't know me and Jar Jar. This is the thing. I hate Jar Jar Binks, but I actually like the design of Jar. I like the look. It. I like the. I like the physical design of him. I just hate the character. <laughs> So this this tells me now this is from lovely lovely George, Mrs George. Thank you very much. I will put this on. I'll put this on the wall, not on the fridge, because if it goes on the fridge, it'll just get destroyed. But if I put it on my precious wall here, maybe even, I'll see if I can carefully get the tape off. And then, thank you very much for that. I'll just put Jar Jar Binks over there out of the way. So we've got some bits here, little things, and a big thing. It's actually I've got to tell you, it's actually really heavy. Let's get these out. Right, so it's a very. I'm gonna have to keep that box because it's a very nice box. Let's do the, the big thing for it last. Let's get that last. So we have. Let's have a look at these individual little things. Oh, hello! It smells like edible things. Let's have a look. We have. <gasps> oh, oh, it's more fudge. Oh. Mr. Sims handmade clotted cream fudge made in the UK. <gasps> clotted cream fudge. Oh, I love clotted cream fudge. Hang on. Hang on. <clears throat> oh, exploded. I'll feed it all now. <gasps> oh. oh, Christ. Oh, mm. oh. <laughs> Oh my life. I'm getting all the water for this. Oh. Oh god, I've got a cream fudge. Oh. I need to put that there before I die of a coronary of diabetes or something. Oh. That was delightful. More fudge for me and Mama Fox. Let's have a look. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ow, nearly, nearly stabbed myself, but not quite. Let's just tear this off, shall we? <gasps> oh, oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Terry's chocolate orange, gotta be done. Go eat it. You don't need to cook it, so I have to give it a go. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, now I do know, I will admit a little bit, I do know that this has come to me via uh, the UK. So, oh, I think these have been added by the person that forwarded to Let's have a look. Oh. Not a chocolate orange in years. Mm. All my teeth are hurting now. Um. But you know what? It's worth it. I'm going to be so fat by the end of this month. We have. We have. Oh, oh, oh more fudge! I'm going to die of diabetes by the end of this episode. Chocolate covered salted caramel. Oh, 
God. Oh dear Lord. Chocolate covered salted. Oh. Oh, just, just cut it open. Just put it in my veins. Right. Mm. fun heating noises in this video than ever before oh god sugar massive rush sugar massive rush how much much more fudge i can take that's like oh apparently more <laughs> oh we have oh rocky road fudge oh. oh i like rocky road as well um, 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 um. Mm. Mm. this is a nice darker savory flavor to counteract all the insane sugariness for the other ones um. mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm. so i'm going to hazard a guess that these were these were provided by the forward shipper of this parcel you know who you are. <sighs> wow, teeth, teeth. Let's see what this is. I don't want. It was beautifully wrapped, and I hate, I hate knackering beautifully wrapped wrapping paper. Hang on, hang on. I'm just gonna have to rip wrapping paper, aren't I? Let's just do it because I'm far too impatient. Find a bit I can get the knife in. There we go. Now close my eyes. You might see first what it is. Or you might not, I don't know. I can't, I can't, hang on. I still can't get it off. There we go. Oh, eyes are closed. I've got stuck to my finger now. Hang on, I still can't get it open. Just... <laughs> I've got my eyes open, by the way, for this bit. I need to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Right, so let me let me just try and cut through paper. Wow, this is like the toughest tape in the world. Blimey. Right. Closing my eyes. We have. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on, wait, what? Hang on, that's not a tape. What are you doing here? Uh, this is very, this is very heavy for a, a HG Gundam Age 2 Magnum. What's going on here? Okay. So we have, I do like the Gundam Age suits. Uh, hyper, hyper Dodds, not Hyper Dogs. Hyper Dodds Rifle Magnum. Recreate dynamic poses with super flexible parts. Hey, this is, I'm not, wait a minute it's opened right this is this is one of them switcheroos isn't it hang on let me have a look ah. <laughs> you cheeky <laughs> right what are you doing i suddenly started thinking wait a minute right what have we got here this was a ton what have you what have you sent me now george what have you hang on what have you actually sent me let's get the bits out oh you've been to forge world dude Oh man, what? Dude! Seriously? <gasps> Malkador Infernus, they're huge! Dude, you've sent me a. Oh wow! That is insane! This is insane business. Oh, plastic tracks, cool! A Malkador Infernus. Wow, hang on, I'm going to look at some of this resin. I can't believe I'm liking this. <laughs> Cheeky. I don't know. When you said in that note, may the resin god, I didn't even, I didn't even twig. It didn't even twig in my mind. 
I don't want to get any bits out, I don't want to lose anything. What have you sent me now, dude? This is no small thing, this is enormously... Wow, this is enormously kind. Right, let me get... Let me try and open some bit. Take me a few seconds, because they're not... Uh, quick things to unwrap. Let's have a look. Uh, where's, me, where's my knife gone? Because if you remember recently, I got the uh, Macarius Vanquisher, Death Call Macarius Vanquisher. I'm not built that yet. And I was saying I might look into getting some more uh, Death, Death Core stuff and Forge World stuff, because Forge World stuff is really cool. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the detail on that. It's beautiful. Based on a Lehman Rust style styly thing well that's like a variant but it's got bigness of guns oh wow you can see how big this is going to be where's the main body let's get this one. yeah so like some of the the, the forge world death course stuff and the tanks and things they're beautifully designed and they have a real first world war vibe to them which makes them look fantastic so i'm taking a little bit of an interest oh look at that oh <gasps> That is, is that even on camera? Is, let me move in a bit so you can see. Hang on. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. I don't even know. I don't know if they go together straight away or if they have other things in there first. I don't even know which is the front and back. That's the back, I think. Dude. Seriously? No, it needs to clean up before it'll go on. Because it's got little sprue hole nub things. Dude, this is incredibly kind and generous of you. I can't even begin to... What is this? I don't even... Wow. I don't want to open that one. That's, I think, a few little bits. I don't want to open that one. I don't want to lose anything. Wow, I can't believe... I really can't believe... You've done this. This is insanely kind. Size of that, <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's a bit of a big gun for a tank. That is, and I gotta tell you, that's pretty straight as well. And that's really nicely molded and really nicely straight. Cool, I'm gonna guess that sits here somewhere or like that. Wow, so look at the instructions. Where's the instructions? Yeah, so it looks like. Looks like that. That's beautiful. It's got a real First World War vibe to it. Oh, it's got a fuel trailer as well. Oh, I've oh yes, I remember seeing this one in um, when we went to Warhammer World and we were walking around the exhibit and it had all the little diorama for the Death Corps gig and I saw this. It's basically a massive flamethrower tank. Wow, look at that. It comes with a fuel trailer. Dude, that looks incredible. And that's going to go with my Macarius Vanquisher really, really nicely. Well, what can I say? What can I say? Buddy, that is insanely kind. And I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I shall put this with my Vanquisher. And then when I do the Vanquisher, I can do this at the same time. And I can make sure they're painted the same scheme. Because it'll be for my Death Core army that I will slowly, slowly build up over time. Oh, that is fantastic! I'm going to enjoy painting that. So much rivety detail, and it's going to have that real World War One vibe to it. That real World War One dirt and dust and colour scheme. Yeah, it's going to be a joy. And looking at these parts, they all look pretty spot on as well. I can't see any major slippage or warpage. I mean, there'll be a little bit of warping. I'll have to clean up. That's not a biggie. These will fit together, but I need to make sure I have them right around, I suppose, first before I go ahead and start doing that. Because I don't know what I'm attaching where at the minute. <laughs> Yo. Dude, let me get the other bits from Scott. Hang on. And so there you have all of it laid out. Fellas, fellas, I cannot thank you enough. I really, really can't thank you enough. Scott, for your Orcadian 
Arcadian treats and delights. Thank you, thank you so much. I will enjoy all of them, putting all of them into my mouth, except the ones I have to give to Mama Fox. Oh, there's always something in there. Oh, I've eaten more fudge in the last half an hour. It's, I'm, I'm whizzing a little bit now. Even just a little bit of eating, it's all at once. It's all sugar. Fudge is all sugar. You do need to know that. But Scott, thank you very much for your Arcadian treats. Simon, because it was Simon that forwarded George's thing on to me. Simon, thank you for my lovely, lovely chocolatey and fudge treats. You give me even more fudge. You guys are going to kill me. So thank you for forwarding that on from George. Simon, it's very kind of you to do that. And also, massive thank you for organising the whole Secret Santa thing. If you don't know, uh, Simon is the one that's organised this year's Boom Hut Secret Santa. Don't forget, of course, it's too late now. You've missed the Secret Santa this year. But do take part in next year's. It's great fun. It's been nice fun to watch. Uh, everybody sending out their secret Santas and to see what people have sent out and what people have received and people putting up videos of the stuff they've got or just photographs in the boom hut. It's been amazing to watch. I didn't take part last year, uh, but have done this year, as you clearly obviously see. But massive thanks to Simon for arranging it all and doing all that shepherding and herding, cat herding and stuff. It's been absolutely awesome to watch. Thank you for doing all that. And George, I, I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I mean, I know I know, you secret Santa's supposed to be secret, but I kind of guessed it was you. <laughs> but thank you very much. I can't. I, I, this is insane. You, you're very, very super, super kind. I can't. I'm, I'm speechless. I will make this very, very carefully. I will take great pride in making this. I'll put more time into this than I will with my vanquisher. There you go. Size that gun. Oh, put that on a space marine, just on a space marine's hand. <laughs> That'd be typically Warhammer. So all three of you, thank you very much. Uh, don't forget, like I said, it's too late to take part this year's Secret Santa, but do if you're not already in the Boom Hut, do go and join the Model Makers Boom Hut. There's a link here. I'll put the link here. Go and join. It's coming up to 4,000 members. It's a totally safe and secure, friendly, and really nice Facebook group for model makers. And not just model makers, but any kind of creative type, whether you make models, uh, or doesn't really, you know, it's not just plastic kits and Warhammer stuff and gumplets, anything you want. We've got people in there that do glass blowing and make puppets and stuff. So, any kind of makers, you're more than welcome. It's a safe space. You'll be encouraged and you'll be looked after, and your questions will be answered. There's lots of people that will help encourage you to develop your skills. So do go and join the Model Makers Boom Hut, and you'll meet great people like Simon Scott and George. So, I'm I'm blown away now. I'm going to have to go and have a cup, cup of coffee, and try and uh, uh, decompress from all that massive blast of sugar I've had. Maybe have some maybe have some oat cakes with some of this chutney. That's really nice. I might have to secrete that up here and not tell Mama Fox about that. Oh wait, she'll watch this video. Damn it. Oh, I'll never learn, will I? I'll never learn. Anyway, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, thank you so much for watching this. I shall say, take care of yourselves. Go make something awesome, like <laughs> <laughs> uh, go make something awesome go be awesome although i don't need to tell you that because you already are because you're watching this so clearly you're awesome and until next time adios amoebas i can't really secrete this chutney away can i is it oh